Hi there, I'm on my way up to Valhalla viewpoint to look for cornerstones for the Viking longhouse. And by the way, the hiking trails in Norway are marked by with these blue marks here um, and red for winter trails that's uh, skiing trails so uh, these are the summer trails and can you see the next one here it is Okay, so this pond here has actually been, been formed by the granite industry and it's, uh, it's quite large. So this has some cultural significance. Uh, it's not very old, it's just, I, I don't know, can't remember right now, maybe from the 50s or 40s. I know that they took some, um, the occupying force they were interested in gran Norwegian granite, uh, but it, it was an industry, and uh, they took granite out of the uh, the bedrock and uh, used it in the houses and uh, all over Europe. That's that's what I've heard. Uh, so I will not be taking those cornerstones from this area, of course, because it's it's uh, it's part of our cultural part of our history. That's a good candidate right there. Yeah. This is a good rock. I like this rock. Yeah. Good rock. Okay, so I seem to have 
picked uh, not the best spot uh, camera wise because the sun is up there and moving in that direction which means that the shadows are constantly shifting uh, which again means that it's hard for the camera to focus um, but still I want my cup of coffee chocolate coffee and I think I've earned it after carrying those stones um, I will have to get back to the um, physical um, placement in the ground of those stones because that hasn't been decided yet uh, so um, it will be soon uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that um, while we wait for the water to boil I want to talk about something that uh, is not often talked about and it's strange because it it kind of it's very important um, for our mental well-being, I find, and uh, it's um, it used to be a trademark of the man. Uh, uh, you know, uh, if you wanted to be a man, you had to be, you had to, you had to have that trait, personal trait. You know, um, so I won't go into what makes a man here, but um, I know that. Um, if you can, uh, I'll get, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'll get straight to the point. Okay, I'm talking about the power of doing. Okay, um, there are people who talk, who brag, who uh, plan, who think, but they never do. Okay, and I seem my observation of those people is that they are never happy people they are never they because they never have that feeling of accomplishment because they they might brag about something they might even lie but they don't do they are not the people who go out there take a risk and they do stuff okay and i think that um, if you go out, if you have your, you have your dreams, and if if you go out and you do your best to fulfill those dreams and to to, to reach for your goals, uh, you will be a happier person, and you will be happier even if you don't reach those goals. Um, you know, it's it's often said that um, what's the saying? Um, if you never try, you certainly have failed, because you know, if you tried, you might have succeeded, okay? Uh, but if you don't try, you, you fail right at the start, you know, before you start. Um, so I think it also has to do with your self-respect. Um, I think we all want to be people who do. Okay, so um, those rocks that I carried, not the biggest rocks, you know, um, but instead of waiting to have people to help me, and I just wanted to go and get some rocks. I wanted to do, I wanted to get it done. You know, the fire went out. <laughs> um, I'm, I've been a little bit lazy when it comes to firewood. Uh, let's see what we can do. I have some here. Let's see if we can uh, get it burning again. It's typical. I start talking and uh, I forget the fire and uh, the fire goes out. That's better. Now let's see. We can put this here. But we have some here as well. You know. So the power of doing. I mean, 
it's, it's, it's an immense power that you get when you are known as a person who get things done. And also, now it's boiling. <laughs> and also, um, the self-respect, as I mentioned. Your self-respect will increase even if you don't succeed, because you will try again, because you're a doer. So, and if you think about people you know, and people you respect, I think the people you respect most are the doers. You know, those who get things done, those who take the risks, go out there and get things done. I mean, if you look for excuses, we will find them and everyone has excuses i mean i could have uh, said to myself no i can't carry those rocks because uh, i have a spine a spinal injury i have a hip that's not the best in a, in a good my hip is not in a good shape <laughs> and uh, and so on and so on so on and so forth you know uh, but excuses are no, we don't need those excuses. Those excuses get us nowhere. So I like to do, I like to get out and do things. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And um, the power of doing, maybe I should call this uh, video, uh, the power of doing. It's, uh, it's, if you just get yourself into that habit of doing, you will grow. I mean, you will, if you're not a doer now, you should be. You should try to get out and reach for your goals. And, uh, I mean, you will never fail, even if you think you fail, you know. You're not failing, you're learning. Ah. Like me with this fire right now. There's no structure in my fire today. It's just no good a no good fire. There's a um, large van kalb. It's an insect. Quite large. Let's see if we can get a close up. So being a doer is a lifestyle and it's a life choice as well. I think um, it used to be more like back in the old days, uh, a, a man was supposed to be a doer. and You were not a man if you were not a doer. Um, we lost that. I think we lost that. and. Uh, that's that's a shame uh, having said that i think this is not about men it's about both men and women and both men and women um, can uh, benefit from being doers so um, 
Yeah, I think it's about self-respect, really. It's about self-respect and it's about not being dependent on other people to get things done. Of course, sometimes we need help. Um, but most of the time we can get a lot done on our own. So that feeling of accomplishment and that self-respect that you gain from being someone who does, who does, who, who is not sitting at home and thinking, what if I did that? What if I did this? Uh, if you go out there and you take a chance and you do it, you get immense self-respect and you get the respect from other people as well. They might not admit it, but you know, they do admire you if you're the one who goes out there and do it. So, I don't see why we're not talking about this anymore. It's like, it's so important for our mental well-being. Be a doer. Be someone who dares to take a chance, goes out there. Be someone who grabs the opportunity. Yeah. Cheers to that. And it's a lovely day. We're in, um, I think it's the 19th of March. Wonderful. The sun. I like the sun. So the next step now when it comes to the Viking house, the Viking village and the, the whole project there will be to, um, to, have the, to get the final go ahead, the green light uh, for the building. Um, I know a few things already about the construction. Um, to avoid some regulations and so on um, and to make things um, to avoid the, the, the to avoid the bureaucracy, we are going to probably build it uh, on a frame that can be lifted, so that it is not a permanent structure. Um, because when it's not a permanent structure and you can physically uh, lift it onto a lorry, um, we avoid all the. Red tape, is that what it's called? The bureaucracy. bureaucracy. <clears throat> and of course, when you're building a Viking house today, <clears throat> it's very hard to achieve 100% historic, historical accuracy. But we'll aim for, I don't know, 90 something. <clears throat> and uh, we'll start by, uh, as I said, uh, building something that can be physically moved, uh, not by manpower, of course, but uh, with a crane onto a lorry. Um, yeah, so that's the plan now, and that will be the, 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 the first house in the village. Um, and then we'll see. Uh, maybe we get a, uh, you know, we, we can build permanent structures. Uh, after that <clears throat> and also I think we will have to um, uh, adapt to the materials that are available uh, to us here um, as the Vikings did yeah cheers I should say skull someone told me I should say skull so skull
Okay, so that's all for now. And thanks for spending this time with me out there in the woods. Um, I will be back in a few days. Um, and hopefully very soon now we uh, will be able to start building uh, the Viking house, the first Viking house. Um, and uh, now at least we have some cornerstones to build on. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I'll see you in the next one and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.